Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how I graduated high school with a 4.0 plus college GPA. So if you want to find out how I did it, keep watching this video and let's get straight into the video. I have my name called so that I do not look to miss on my laptop. So if you see me look off to the side or look down, I'm looking at my laptop to make sure I don't forget any important points that I want to include in the video. Okay, so the first thing, which was, I guess I could pretty much say one of the most important things as to how I got a 4.0 plus college GPA while in high school was dual enrollment. So if you do not know what dual enrollment is, dual enrollment is where you can take college classes while you're in high school. That means you can take college level biology, college algebra, you can take college level pre-calculus, elementary statistics, you know, you can take your college level U.S. history. That is where you're able to do that with dual enrollment. And dual enrollment helps you to be able if you do it the right way it can boost up your gpa when i tell you this stuff will help you boost up your gpa if you do it correctly it will help you boost up your gpa a lot like by a fair share so dual enrollment is not something that is in every single state in the united states so make sure you check your state if you want to learn more about it but in the state of georgia we have a lot of funding for dual enrollment so i was able to take advantage of that and do it so dual enrollment allowed me to get a 4.0 plus college gpa because it allowed me to do college classes while in high school you will see at least here in georgia a lot of the classes that you took in high school you're going to take them again once you're in college and once you start your major so like u.s history world history History, you're going to take it again in college for your prereqs for college but we'll talk about that later not in this video so the second thing I would say was probably maybe the number one thing outside of dual enrollment one of the most important things as to how I graduated 4.0 plus was time management time management was a huge huge thing that contributed to me having a 4.0 plus college GPA while in high school because I had to manage high school classes and college classes so I would definitely say time management helped with that so time management allowed me to make sure that I was on top of my school work make sure that I did not procrastinate doing my school work and I was still able to you know hang out with friends play games watch tv all of that with time management so the one thing I will say with time management one of the most important things I will say that helped me to get the 4.0 plus GPA was definitely being productive with my so I would set a certain amount of time while I was at school to do my school work all my high school work I'll pretty much make sure I finish my high school work by I would probably say Tuesdays or Wednesdays so the rest of the school week I would just work on my school work for my college classes while I was at school and the only things that I would do at home are quizzes just because I didn't want to take a quiz at the high school and then have a fire drill in the middle of it because college professors do not play they're not going to let you redo it because of that because they really do not care so I will say that definitely being productive with my time while I was at school and when I'm doing my school work definitely helped with that the third thing that I will say helped is definitely the end goal the end goal I would say definitely helps because if you don't have the end goal of where you want to be or what you want to do with your life or whatever nothing's really going to work out like even me saying all this would not have worked out for me so you know I had an end goal where I want to be in life and you know what career I want to do and what my bachelor's is and all of that so that's how I was able to get a 4.0 plus because I kept working hard because I knew at the end of the day okay this is going to help me in the future because I want to do this that and the third like whatever it is you want to do if you don't want to do it commit to it that really helped me to get the 4.0 plus because at the end of the day me just working hard to get 4.0 plus just getting to college for me I don't feel like that was enough motivation or that is enough motivation to be able to achieve the 4.0 plus while in high school the reason why I would say that is because okay we get a 4.0 plus to get into college but after that are you going to keep it up like what are you going to do with it is it just to get into college or something else so i used it as an end goal because i know the career i want to go in the future and what i want to do so the end goal definitely helped a lot especially when things got hard and tough the end goal i just remember at the end of the day you know what at the end of the day i want to do this with my life i want to be in this career in this field and i want to help people do whatever and all that good stuff so that definitely helped me a lot being able to get a 4.0 plus GPA so the fourth thing I will say it's actually three things but I'll put them all together because all three of them tied together so motivation dedication and commitment so first motivation like I just said in the previous point I had the motivation to keep going because of my end goal and I had motivation because I know where I want to be in life I had my own motivation you can't depend on other people to give you the motivation to do things you need to depend on yourself and you yourself have to have your own 
own inner motivation because if you don't, you're not going to get nowhere if you don't have your own motivation. You can't depend on other people for motivation, so make sure that you yourself you are motivated. I'm trying to make sure that this video is more of how I got a 4.0 plus. If I keep saying you, 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 I'm not trying to, but naturally it's just coming out that way. It's just how I did it, but I'm not trying to say like you, you is really how I did it. So, but since you're watching this video, obviously you want to know what worked for me. So, so second thing, um, have those points well under the fourth point the second thing i'll say is dedication definitely being dedicated to like i said your end goal being dedicated to where you want to be in life what you want to do um that definitely helps and then commitment which all three of them go together like i said being committed to you know i'm gonna try really hard in school i'm gonna get good grades or being committed you know this semester i'm gonna try harder i'm gonna try to get an A or even strive for a B or a C, like I'm going to do it. And having the, I'll say, yeah, inner motivation, but that's not really the word I'm looking for. Well, I would say definitely having the inner drive to do what you want to do. So that definitely helps. So the fifth point that I would say is hard work. How does hard work ties into everything? You know, like you can't take shortcuts. You need to work hard and you need to, like I said, with the time management, you want to come back time management probably time and time again in each of these points. You have to keep working hard no matter what. Like you can still hang out with your friends. You can still go to football games, basketball games. You can still hang out with your boyfriend, girlfriend. You can still go on dates. You can still go to the fair. You can still go to the movies. You can still eat out with your friends. Like you can still do all of that. But at the end of the day, if you're trying to get somewhere where you do need an education or where like this video, if you are trying to get a 4.0 plus, I mean, it is going to take hard work and it will take some sacrifices as well. So. I'm not saying, oh, you can hang out with your friends and not have a social life, but you're not going to have social life 24-7 because you got to be focused on your school if you want to do what you clicked on this title for to know how I do. So I'll definitely say that. The sixth thing, and I know a lot of people overlook this, but I promise you this helps so much once you know how to use it correctly and once you start using it all the time and once you start using it often, I'm telling you this will help you out so much in college. So definitely a planner. I know you're like, oh, a planner, okay, whatever. But so I'm telling you, a planner works so much because I had college classes and high school classes, so I definitely needed a planner for my college classes because if you're in college, you already know, or college, university, okay? Okay. If you're in college university, you know these teachers do not play. You need to be turning in your stuff on time. Yeah, sometimes they take off points, but some teachers don't play. If you turn in late, you'll just get a zero. Like, they do not care what was going on. They'll just give you a zero. Like, so I'll definitely say using a planner and making sure that you write out the dates for everything. The reason why I say a planner is because a planner will definitely help you with the time management that I mentioned in point number two, a bullet point number two, because a planner also helps you to be able to get ahead. So you will see once you get ahead, you'll have a lot of free time. So you know, what I follow is definitely, I work first and then I play later. So you know, you will see in my school routine or maybe in a week of my school life, you will see, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do do my school work Monday through Thursday and I make a schedule but you'll see all that in that video it definitely helps to have a planner because if you work ahead you will see omg i have so much free time because you're not procrastinating you're not rushing to finish your assignments like you'll have more than enough time to finish a paper you know you do a quiz study for a quiz whatever you'll still be able to hang out with your friends like you will still have time for your parents your siblings you'll still have time for your grandparents your family you'll still have time to spend with your boyfriend your girlfriend your friends i promise you you will well i'm not saying you have to but i'll definitely say using a planner will definitely help with that that is actually all of my points for this video for how I graduated high school with a 4.0 plus college GPA. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you do have some more questions that I may not have addressed in this video, I'll answer them in the comments down below. So make sure you leave your questions in the comments down below. So with that being said, until next time, bye guys.